Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this lovely Monday, the 15th of March, the Ides of March. Bad day for Julius Caesar, but a great day for the rest of us. Uh, let us um, look at our readings this morning, our, our mass readings, our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, a beautiful glimpse at heaven, at paradise, the new Jerusalem, uh, where Jesus said there will be joy, rejoicing, happiness, no sickness, no illness, no cause for any grief whatsoever, but pure unadulterated joy and that is something that we all have in store for us that beautiful promise of paradise that Jesus made to us that uh, in his father's house there are many dwelling places and he's going to prepare a place for each one of us to bring us to him so that where he is we also may be beautiful promise our gospel today uh, talks about faith. It's the story of, uh, actually, this is the second miracle or sign that Jesus performed in his ministry. The first, of course, in Cana at the wedding feast where he replenished the wine supply at a wedding feast that he was at. And uh, now this is the second miracle or sign of Jesus and a, an official from Capernaum bumped into Jesus in Galilee and asked Jesus to come and help his poor afflicted son who was dying of a fever and a very near death all the way over in Capernaum. And he asked Jesus to please come with him and heal his son. Jesus doesn't need to do that. Our faith is enough for healings. And God's word is enough for healings. God willed it. He desired it. And at the very moment that he said to the man, go home, your son will be okay. He will live. And the boy was healed at that very moment from miles away. Intercessory prayer. Very powerful and real prayer that we make. We don't have to physically uh, drag somebody to Jesus or bring Jesus physically to the person's side. We go to him with our heart, spiritually. Jesus Heal my loved one, whether it's a child, a spouse, a parent, anyone in our lives that we have affection for and have care for, then we bring them to Jesus and they will live. Faith is that powerful. Faith. Faith in our Lord is the source and the summit of our, our, our life as Christians. The presence of God in our lives is so real, so palpable. It affects change for us when we allow it. May God give you the strength and courage for your faith to grow and strengthen and deepen so that just as this man in Scripture today brought his son spiritually to our Lord. We too have the courage to bring the people in our lives to Jesus as well. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. 
Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his love endures forever. Who alone has wrought marvelous works, for his love endures forever? Whose wisdom it was made the skies, for his love endures forever? Who fixed the earth firmly on the seas, for his love endures forever? It was he who made the great lights, for his love endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his love endures forever. The moon and the stars in the night, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without end. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God, the Almighty. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, for his love endures forever. He brought Israel out of their midst, for his love endures forever. Arm outstretched with power in his hand, for his love endures forever. He divided the Red Sea in two, for his love endures forever. He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh in his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. Through the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, for his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And Bog, Og, the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes, for his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things, for his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, remember our lowliness and have mercy. Once you gave our fathers a foreign land to inherit. Free us today from sin and give us a share in your inheritance. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God, the Almighty. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, 
but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The Father realized that it was at the very hour when Jesus had told him, Your son will live. And he and all his household became believers. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Father realized that it was at that very hour when Jesus had told him, Your son will live. And he and all his household became believers. Glory to God the Father, who has promised through his Son to grant what is asked by those who pray together. With confidence in this promise, let us pray. Lord, look with favor on your people. Lord, you gave the law to Moses on Mount Sinai and brought it to perfection in your anointed one. May all recognize the law written in their hearts and keep it faithfully as a covenant. Lord, look with favor on your people. Give those in authority a true concern for their brothers and sisters entrusted to their care and inspire the hearts of the people to support their leaders. Lord, look with favor on your people. Strengthen with your spirit the minds and hearts of missionaries and raise up a great company to help them from every nation. Lord, look with favor on your people. Give your grace to children that they may grow in your favor and to young people that they may reach their full stature by loving you and keeping your commandments. Lord, look with favor on your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in your peace. Bring them at last to eternal life. Lord, look with favor on your people. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Creator, you give the world new life by your sacraments. May we, your church, grow in your life and continue to receive your help on earth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
rest in peace tonight. Be well. God bless you. And uh, we'll do this again tomorrow, good Lord willing. We'll see you Tuesday. And uh, pull out those umbrellas and raincoats. It looks like we got some wet weather in front of us. So uh, that's good. We need that for our yards and our flowers and all the beautiful things that will grow this spring. So nothing wrong with a little liquid sunshine along the way, right? See you tomorrow. God bless.